visible light or simply light can act in one of two important ways. It can act as if it was a wave or it can act as if it consisted of many single particles of light. Now, this idea that light acts either as a wave or as a particle is known as the wave-particle duality of light, and we're going to discuss this idea in more detail in a future lecture. Now, one very common phenomenon of light that exemplifies the wave property of light and not the particle property is known as diffraction. Diffraction is essentially the bending of light around obstacles. Now, diffraction can be explained by using a principle known as Huygens' principle. Huygens' principle states that every point on a wave front can be considered as a source of individual wavelets that move outward at the speed of the wave itself. So let's suppose we have the following single wave front as shown with the following purple line. Now notice we show seven points and each one of these points is essentially a source of its own individual wavelet as shown by the following curved line. So for example, for this particular point on the wave front, this point acts as a source. It produces its own wavelet. Now each one of these wavelets is shown. We have seven altogether to represent these seven points. Now, Notice if we take a line and we draw the line tangent to each one of these individual wavelets, we will produce a new wavefront. And that's exactly how the wavefront moves. So it propagates by essentially producing these wavelets, which intersect to produce these new wavefronts. So the new wavefront consists of a line that is tangent to all all these wavelets and it, it moves with the speed of this initial wavefront. So this concept, this principle is known as Huygens principle. So now let's discuss diffraction and let's see how Huygens principle essentially explains why diffraction takes place. So, suppose wave fronts are traveling with a certain velocity and hit an obstacle with a very small opening. So these are our two wave fronts. They're propagating along the following direction. Eventually, they hit the following obstacle and this obstacle has a small opening as shown. Now, assume that the opening is much smaller than the wavelength of the wave itself. So what exactly will happen? Well, when this front wave front hits the following obstacle. So these sections do not have any opening. So the wave will actually disappear. It will be either reflected or absorbed by the surface. Now what will happen at this opening? So as a result of Huygens principle, the following will take place. So as a result of these sources, many wavelets will be formed and these wavelets will form the new wave front as shown by the following circular region. So we see that as the wave fronts hit the obstacle, it is partially disrupted. Huygens principle predicts that the wave will partially move through the opening as shown in the following diagram. And this ability of waves to move around obstacles is known as diffraction of light. So once again, diffraction of light exemplifies the wave property of light. It does not exemplify the particle property of light.